Ever since the new diagnosis and things, our news getting a little more severe, I haven't uh, stopped experiencing God talking to me and uh, the scripture being more and more real. 30 years ago, I memorized Ephesians 3, 14 and 19. It's this amazing classic prayer. I encourage you to memorize it. It says this, For this reason, I kneel before the Father from whom all heaven and earth derives its name. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, together with all God's saints, will be able to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ and to know this knowledge that the, to know this love that surpasses knowledge excuse me and to know this love that surpasses knowledge we talked about it a couple of weeks ago is there anything more important than us grasping the love of God when you and I are in the middle of storms and troubles and trials and tribulation and whatever, is there anything that we want more or need more than the love of God? So his prayer, right in the middle of this amazing book, for this reason, I kneel before the Father. Paul's kneeling. I pray that you would get it. How long and wide and high and deep. Now, those, those measurements don't seem to mean a whole lot, but do you know this love? He is for you. He's absolutely crazy about you. He never stops thinking about you and me. His, his desire is always for my good. He defines good. He is absolutely in love with you, more than the, the, the woman of your life, if you're a man. More than your mom and dad love you. Do we know this love? One of my heroes... Uh, this Brennan Manning fellow says, I believe on Judgment Day, Jesus will ask us one question and one question only. Did you believe that I loved you, that I thought about you day after day, that I longed to hear the sound of your voice? Listen, that's his attitude toward us. We have to get past our own imaginary unconscious barriers that prevent him, that we prevent him from loving us. He still loves us. It's just we block it. We gotta stop that. Let it in. I think for me, in these days, I'm experiencing it deeper than I ever have in my life. It's been absolutely amazing. I desire it for you. And I ask you to go back and read Ephesians 3, 14 and 19. Memorize it. Thanks.